Today, I'm going big box plant shopping. I try to limit myself to only going once a month or once every two months, but when I go, I just have such a blast because there are so many incredible plants to be found at these big box shops. I'm always blown away, and I always am keeping my eye out on finds that people are having because, you know, in the back of my mind as I'm like shopping around at my big box shops and thinking to myself, kind of remembering all the plants that people have found and keeping an eye out for them. My plan today is to visit a few different locations so I'll be visiting Lowe's and Home Depot and even Walmart. In addition to looking at plants at Walmart, I'm also going to take a peek at their planters because this time of year Walmart puts their planters out and they're so reasonably priced compared to other shops. And they have such a wonderful assortment and I've seen some people posting about the planters that they're finding and I'm really, really excited to check out their inventory. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and I'm a crazy plant person and proud. So if that brings a smile to your face, make sure to subscribe so episodes show up in your newsfeed. We also have an amazing, amazing plant community on Instagram that we would love for you to be part of. Now you may not know this, but April is actually Earth Month, which to me as a planty person is incredibly exciting. So in celebration of Earth Month, I am partnering with Climeworks to create one team for the Earth with the goal of eliminating carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Climeworks develops, builds, and operates carbon dioxide capture plants that are powered by renewable energy to permanently remove carbon dioxide from the air. Now, while there are many ways to fight climate change, Climework allows you to make an impact with just a click of a button by subscribing to their carbon dioxide removal service. Now this partnership is really fun because I'm actually competing with other teams of creators to see whose community can remove the most carbon dioxide in April. And, and very exciting, if my team wins, I'm going to do the most amazing rare plant giveaway. Like I'm gonna go shopping and really find some good stuff for the giveaway for you guys because I don't know if you know this, but I'm a little bit competitive. So I really hope that we win again, even though I'm competing with other creators, we're all on the same team to help the earth for Earth Month and remove carbon dioxide. Now, if you would like to join my team and be part of the change, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, you can do that by subscribing to Climeworks today. Now, I am so excited to do some big box plant shopping. Let's go. I've just walked into this Lowe's and it is packed. Um, I'm not gonna waste any time. First and foremost, look at all of these. <gasps> look at these Xanthosoma. They are absolutely massive. I'm gonna use my hand for comparison just so you can see how beautiful these leaves are. Raven's Easy's, they have the dragon, silver dragon alocasia. So beautiful. Oh, it's so exciting to see these out on the market. And we have the Raven ZZs, beautiful um, cane begonia here. Then they have the watermelon peperomia, looks like a little bit of skin dapsis pictus, moonlight. Look at this. How much are these? These huge xanthosoma are $50. Is this a Hoya or lipstick plant? Mini variegated lipstick plant? Okay, so it says it is a mini variegated lipstick plant. It probably needs more light to bring out the variegation. So like this leaf has a little bit of variegation. Maybe it reverted. Yeah, you can see where it was originally very variegated. I bet with some proper light, it could probably come back again. It does have a lot of new growth happening. Hmm. This leaf has like a little bit. We have a beautiful orchid cactus. Look at that. These are $15. Part of the exotic angel Costa Farms. It was so neat when I went to their location in Apopka, Florida, um, and they showed me all of their mother plants. That was a really, really uh, fun experience. Very informative and interesting. There's some beautiful Diffenbachias. I cannot wait until the 
variegated ones with Costa Farms come out soon. Then there's bird's nest ferns. Have some money trees over here. What do we have? What do we have? Wow. Well, see what other interesting plants we have going on. Curly spider plant. There's some ivy. Okay. These are $20. There's a Rex begonia, Philodendron Brazil. Really cute looking um, Pepperomia, Maranta, Red Maranta, actually this one might not be a red, oh no it is, it's Red Maranta, Spider Plant Pothos, there is a Strawberry Begonia back here, Let's see what else we have, always a good assortment in this area, Rex Begonia, Syngonium, Fitonia. I just pulled this one out and I'm not sure what it is. Some sort of philodendron. Five dollars. Honestly, it looks like a little banana plant, but I know it's not. It's kind of interesting. Wonder what that is. Beautiful peace lilies, umbrella plants. Let's see what else is over here. Monstera deliciosas. Bacchia, Bird of Paradise. Always keep an eye out for other displays besides their general houseplant section because you will see displays like this and they'll have a lot of their really great plants. They're great tropical plants. Like down here is the Baltic Blue that everyone's excited about with Costa. Then the gorgeous Aglonemas. Um, and then over here is the Frosted Peperomia, beautiful ZZs some fun philodendrons, money plants. So it's always important to take a look. Here we have some urban jungle now. There's some interesting syngoniums happening with urban jungle. Look at this beautiful one, like that leaf. Not sure which variety it is, but it's always kind of fun to see. Then this beautiful alocasia, rubber trees down there. like they have a lot of plants in stock. Oh, I'm so excited. I come to this Lowe's quite a bit and lately they haven't had many plants in stock. So I'm very curious to see what I can find. It's been a while since I've been to this one. First of all, these pothos look really, really nice in these wicker hangers. They're not quite macrame. They're macrame on top, as you can see. But I did want to mention off the bat these really interesting alocasia. I almost feel like they're bambino, which that would be the first time I've seen bambino alocasia at a Lowe's. Because look how long the leaves are. And they just say beautiful home decor and sometimes um, they'll be labeled that way if they weren't exactly sure the variety. But these are definitely unique alocasia. This is the year of allocation from what I saw at the plant expo. And these are absolutely beautiful. I love the shape of the leaves. The stems have a cute pink color to them. So yeah, that's really interesting. These are $4.98. So all of these in these little four inch pots will be $4.98. There's ivy and beautiful, beautiful Rex begonias. 
also incredibly shimmery. They do have some variegated um, peperomia here. Really lovely. And Fetonia. You know, I love Fetonia. They are such an e easy plant. They let you know when they're ready to be watered because they do the Fetonia flop. They get droopy and then they come right back to life when they're watered. We have some fern here. I always get excited when I see hanging baskets that are full like this because sometimes you can find really good hanging basket plants and uncommon plants. Looks like there's a lot of ivy. There is a beautiful Maranta back here. And the Maranta is 19. I mean, that's a huge pot of that Maranta. Really, really pretty. There's always a nice assortment of plants in these four and five inch planters. Just gonna take a quick look. Cool Syngonium. I believe this one is called a Milky Way plant. Let me check what it says. Florida Beauty Dracaena. All right. I like how the leaves, I really like how the leaves have these spots on there. I think it's beautiful. Very interesting foliage. Some very large pothos, golden pothos, or maybe Hawaiian golden pothos. Some more of these really nice Rex begonias. Looks like there's an assortment of Rex begonias. We have this variety, and then there's also this variety over here. Let's see what else we have down here. Crotons. Lots of ivy. Some more Rex begonias. Here's another Syngonium variety. I'm seeing some very exciting Syngonium varieties in the big box shops. These are Pilea glaucas, 1998. Some ivy. What kind of fern is this? It's silver. I couldn't find a name of this fern but it's different than any fern I've seen in a big box shop before. The leaves are silver colored. Um, I imagine that's not a very common one to find so I'm curious to know what that is. Lots of beautiful peace lilies. Some more syngonium down here. Money trees. Lots and lots of golden pothos, Fetonia there. Again, these are all 20. Some Peperomia, some really beautiful staghorn fern. One of the more easygoing ferns, especially if you're not good at um, staying on top of consistent watering. Some bird's nest and Diffenbachia, $12.98. Some more Diffenbachia. Down here are trending tropicals, and they're the watermelon peperomias. So shiny and beautiful. The size of those leaves are just stunning. Then we have a Pilea peperomioides, and they are 14 with Costa. Some interesting Calatheas, they are 12.98. Uh, these aglionemas are different than the ones I've seen before. Looks like we have some new varieties coming out. Look at this leaf. It's so silvery and beautiful. Let's take a look at this plant. Nice. These are $14.98. Then we have some more of the pinkish, greenish variety of aglionemas. Raven ZZs, Trending Tropicals, the green ZZs. What well, looks like a pretty massive pothos. Looks like they do have carnivorous plants, ten ninety nine, maybe Venus flytrap in there um, and I just did a botanical gardens tour with the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and Jeff Gilman who gave me a behind the scenes tour actually told me that Venus flytraps are native in North Carolina specifically Wilmington and the surrounding areas and that's the only place they grow so I was shocked to hear that oh my gosh <gasps> okay they have alocasia silver dragons here guys 
Is this a variegated one? Or is it just... Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. But look at these. Ooh, this one's even flowering. Such a beautiful alocasia. Very, very easy care. The color of those leaves, $20. This was like unheard of on the market for the longest time. And the fact that they have them at big box shops to me is incredible. They have these beautiful lime green philodendrons, hurricane bird's nest fern, beautiful Baltic blue. These get the fenestrations really early, which is fun. The leaves don't have to get absolutely massive to become fenestrated, which is really lovely because we all love some fenestrated leaves. And then we have a global green, absolutely beautiful, beautiful plant. These are really fun because they have the green on the inside of the leaves. And sometimes you can find ones like this leaf that have just a little even extra creamy variegation kind of in the center. Really fun plant. Let's see what else is up here. Some interesting color on those leaves. Doesn't have an exact variety, but I know um, Costa Farms and Exotic Angels are experimenting with some really fun Syngonium varieties. So I'm always keeping an eye out. Let's see, beautiful golden pothos. Let's see if there's any hidden back there. Looks like more pothos. Cute little neon pothos. Bird of Paradise here, and they are only $26. <laughs> That's a pretty good deal. Fiddle leaf fig. Nice Phalaenopsis orchids here. There's a lot in this section. There's some large fiddle leaf figs. They are 120, but sometimes I see them as low as, I think I got mine for $70 and it mine's really tall. So you can find better deals than that. Then there are some really beautiful Monstera Deliciosas. These Monstera are quite massive. They are $45. They come with these really cute little bamboo trellis already included. That's a good deal. The leaves are huge on them. Lots of new growth, it looks like. I mean, some of the leaves are beat up, like the old leaves. Um, but that's okay. Clip those off and let the plant have some new growth. And uh, they'll put out some nice mature leaves for you. Gosh, they have some really good deals here on uh, clearance plants. And they have some nice ones. I mean, they have Desert Rose, Urban Jungle, um, and they have the Chocolate Anthurium. There's some nice ferns, there's some beautiful orchids, and some bromeliads. Sorry about the beeping. Coming into that time of year where some of the house plants are outside and I really wanted to take a peek at the cacti and succulents because I saw some really cute varieties that I just don't see that often. First of all they have a nice assortment of string of. This one is called ruby necklace. The stems are so purpley. String of bananas here. Elephant bush some really interesting varieties of aloe, some cute little gardens, succulent gardens. Um, I thought these were really fun. I like the way the spines are shaped. It's probably some variety of euphorbia, I'm thinking, because it has thorns and not um, spikes. But I mean, look, I've never even seen this kind before. Look, gosh, look at those thorns. They are so purple and so long. Fascinating. I like this one because it's kind of like, has a little spiral to it. 
there are some really fun ones here as well. This is a Mammillaria gracilis, and they look like little piles of crystals, don't they? And this one even has a beautiful bloom. I mean, the, the little um, pricklies on there are so condensed, you can even put your finger on it. Here we have a an interesting looking euphorbia, and let me see if it says, it doesn't say which variety it is, but look at them all just squished in there. I love the pink um, pink thorns coming out. They have some nice euphorbias. You don't normally see a lot of euphorbia at uh, big box shops, so it's kind of exciting. Look at this one. Beautiful. So many plants. Amazing. Beautiful large raven's easies, $35. Literally the easiest plant ever. And I love the new growth comes in very vibrant and green and then turns to the beautiful black color that we all love so much with that dark foliage. Some fiddle and chiflera variegated umbrella plant there. Some beautiful peace lilies. They look like they may be sensation, sensation peace lilies. There are a lot of them and they are $25. Look at these beautiful Monstera Deliciosa. It is still my dream to stumble across perhaps a sport variegated one. I have not had such luck. Look at that new leaf over there. Beautiful fiddles. Here we have some bird of paradise. These really large fiddles are $99. Gorgeous spider plants, lots of pups. And some nice fern. Look at those roots. I really like these. different aglionemas, snake plants, zizis. They have some really, really exceptionally beautiful uh, Rex begonia varieties here. They're $17 and I'm not going to lie, they are definitely tempting me. Look at these. Oh, and this one is so, so beautiful. The leaves are so shimmery. Oh, look at this red one with the dark in the center of that leaf. The shape of these leaves is really, really beautiful, and they're so, so shimmery. I'm not sure if it translates on camera. Beautiful um, rattlesnake calatheas. Birkins, watermelon peperomias. Snake plants. Look at these escargot begonias. These really caught my eye. Just haven't seen purple ones this like this before that are so big and mature form um they're so beautiful you know escargot because it has the snail shape to the leaves really beautiful i mean look at all of these rex begonia varieties it's really tempting me mm, that one's really pretty too if you see a peperomia blooming give it a sniff because when i was doing the botanical garden tour um there was a variety and i can't remember which one that jeff was like give this a whiff and it smelled just like fritos or popcorn it was wild money trees i always keep an eye out one day i'll find a variegated one. Ooh, guys they have alocasia black velvet let's see how much they are they're heavy <laughs> they are 19. that is so cool what is this back here? Look at this. Look at this healthy philodendron. This is this is a green princess philodendron. I love it. It's so bushy and lush and healthy. That is so fun. What else do we have over here? Some more alocasia, crocodile fern, ZZs. 
Look at that beautiful new leaf on that Monstera Deliciosa. See? Some different ficus. And really nice philodendron. Some more bird's nest fern here. These are so fun. It's like they're reaching out with little fingers. I was just taking a look at the different ficus and this one is a looks like a type of rubber tree but the leaves are shaped rather elongated. This is the variety it is. There are a lot of pothos and Hartley philodendrons mixed in, heteracium. Okay, look at this beautiful syngonium. Definitely some sort of interesting variety. I mean, there's so much pink and green speckled throughout. It is $16. Very, very easy care plants. These are Alocasia bambino and this is Syngonium robusta and they're labeled on underneath the planter. So 10 out of 10 recommend seeing what you can find if you see those at your big box shop. Some more of these just stunning Rex begonias. I can't with these Rex begonias, they're so pretty. What else do we have here? We have some Tradescantia and aluminum plants, a staghorn fern there, syngonium, ivy, pothos, fiddle leaf figs, gardenias, aglionema, some more rex begonias, some more snake plants, Peperomia obtusifolia. There are a, an assortment of varieties of that here. A lot of different syngoniums. So you see some over there. Then there are some over here. Let's see how much. Four, four dollars, five dollars. Pink ones, green ones. Then there's the white ones. Maybe these are white butterfly or holly. So worth taking a peek at the Syngonium at your big box shops. On this random cart of plants and they have more of the trending tropicals. They have the really shining, beautiful looking glass begonias. These are all 20. And there are some Baltic blues up there, some ficus loratas, a variety of calatheas, and some anthuriums. First thing I wanted to do at Walmart was take a look at the planters. I find they have amazing planters for some of the best prices that I see comparatively for other places that sell planters. Target has some really nice ones as well, although they tend to be a bit more expensive. But I was just looking at this. This is so neat that they're selling this now. It's little hydroponic grow gardens. If you wanted to grow herbs or whatever. I just think that is really cool. And they have little terracotta planters and then they have larger clay pots, five dollars with little saucers available. These are really adorable. They're little ceramic planters. They're $9.88 and they have all sorts of sayings on them. Let's stick together. I'm rooting for you. I will survive. Oh my, I may have to pick up one of those. I really like these as well. 
the shape of them is great. 916, I like the neutral color. Again, it has that interesting kind of modern shape, which I really like. Some baskets here, 13. Nice little planters with stands, 1497. Look at these nice planters. This one's 548, this one's 882. I do have this one and people always ask where I got it. It's only $6. Look how pretty it is. This is really cute. They have little propagation stations. This one's $10, this one's 15. Adorable. Oh, little terrariums. $25. Look at these hanging terrariums, 14. $10 for that one. Little misters. Oh, this is a pretty terrarium. 19. They also have plastic options and they're $3, $5. Great deal. really nice plant stands these gold ones are six dollars then I really love this planter here I believe it's thirty dollars it's kind of hard to tell then this one comes with three really awesome it's a nice planter they have some great baskets here's another plant stand 24 look at these wall planters it's really nice I like this hanging plant table, really great. Macrame, there's another plant hanger. I've seen the same one on Amazon and it's like three times as expensive. So to get this for $7 is nice. There's a great assortment here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> They have the Geogenanthus. A lot of people have been asking me where they can find them, and this is the first place I've seen them in a while. Um, so that's pretty exciting. And they are $18.95 for these uh, trending tropicals. This is such a cool plant. And then this is the first time I've seen this two-tone that Mike from Costa was saying that would be coming on the market. Wow, look at this, oxblood. Oxblood Ginger Two-Toner. And it's called Two-Toner because it has that beautiful green and then it has red on the back sides of the leaves. Very, very easy care. And uh, when I originally put out my video with Costa and where Mike was showing me this plant, a lot of people were asking about it. So here you go, you'll start to see them and maybe check out your local Walmart to see if they have some of these cool trending tropicals. Oh, they have Global Green as well, and Aglionema and Birkins. Absolutely amazing. Some bromeliads. Lots of beautiful succulents, jade varieties here. Some very sweet cacti, $13.97. For the cacti, another Global Green. Pothos there. Oh my gosh, these are the spineless cacti that I saw at the Tropical Plant Expo. This is so awesome. They are $13 spineless cacti. I love the planter they come in. You guys know I love some cacti. So, and they're really um, pretty, like the dark green colors, beautiful with the kind of white little circle, circles where the spines would go amazing they also have um some ficus i see ficus audrey and looks like some sort of ficus altissima similar variety to that i don't know if it's that exact variety but you can tell because the ficus has green on the outside of the leaves then there's i think it's a ficus tenecae which is pretty amazing to see at a walmart look how beautiful these leaves are just gorgeous you know I'd love to get a really big one of these plants because I just think they're so so beautiful then there's some different aglionema varieties here amazing gosh I'm really surprised they have all these varieties kind of checking out the little guys 
see what I can find. Look at this syngonium. That's a nice find, kind of interesting. There's some Rex begonias. Ficus snake plant, Tratoscantia. Lots of beautiful aloe here. There's a Peperomia obtusifolia, Crotons. Some Oxalis, aren't they lovely? Oxalis are also shamrock plant as it's known as. Checking out their succulent section. Loads of good options. Look at these purple guys. And these ones here are called ogre ears. Not sure what their scientific name is, but it's pretty obvious why they're called ogre ears. I just think they're so neat. They have some beautiful orchid varieties. I mean, look at these little beautiful, beautiful blooms. There's so many great plants. There are bird's nest ferns. They are $15. Some snake plants, some more aglionemas, a green ZZ, a couple green ZZs here. Wonderful. Money trees. They also have some holiday cactus. This one looks like the Easter variety. You can get Thanksgiving and Christmas ones up as well. And the difference is um, they have, they each have a different shape to their leaves and they bloom around the time of year that they're named for. So these have kind of more of a rounded foliage which is indicative of the Easter ones, but then obviously they're blooming now and it's Easter time. But look at these blooms, aren't they so, so beautiful? Fan fantastic, fantastic plant. Very easy care if you'd like a house plant that's a bloomer. Um, these are great because they're more succulenty and are low maintenance during the rest of the year. Little bonsai, raven zizis. They have lovely African violets, an ivy. They even have a single begonia maculata, beautiful, beautiful cane begonia with those kind of gorgeous polka dots and the red on the back sides of the leaves just stands alone with the angel wing begonias, that variety is so beautiful. Bromeliads, some more money trees. All right, I'm so excited to share my haul with you guys. There were so many incredible plants. I just wanted to keep going. Like there were four more big box shops I would have loved to visit, but I just ran out of time. So I may have to do a follow-up episode, do it like going and checking out some more big box shops because our stores right now are packed. You know, spring is officially here in Charlotte and you could definitely see it with all of the beautiful um, house plants and also outdoor plants. I mean, it had me kind of wanting to plant some veggies and, and grow some herbs and all of that, just seeing all of the beautiful plants that they had at the big box shops. I mean, to me, that's like my plant therapy, just relaxing, doing some shopping. So I hope you enjoyed and I'm really excited to share my finds from today. So first of all, it was very difficult to choose. There were many, many plants. I had to limit myself as to all of the plants that I purchased. I did end up coming home with three different plants today. And there were many plants that I would have purchased if I did not already have them in my collection. First of all, being that absolutely massive Xanthosoma. How beautiful was that for $40? I mean, the leaves were like bigger than my head. Absolutely beautiful, incredible. They had Geogenanthus at Walmart, which was surprising. They had the two toner, the oxblood ginger plant, which was very, very tempting because I don't have that one in my collection yet, but I ended up going with a few other plants. Like I said, I just can't buy all the plants all in one day. So let me jump in and show you what I ended up getting. First and foremost, how can you not? I mean, this plant was so rare and impossible to find that I wanted one forever 
And then to see that they have them now at big box shops, they had them at multiple locations. Absolutely incredible. This is the Alocasia Silver Dragon. These leaves are incredible. I know my husband's gonna wanna steal this plant from me. He's not a planty guy but this is the kind of plant that he really likes. So the texture of the leaves having that kind of leathery appearance and the unique gray, light gray, dark gray coloring makes it almost look like a fake plant. And then you have the backsides of the leaves are very beautiful as well. They have this light green color and then these gorgeous maroon kind of like stripes along the back sides of the leaves. It's called silver dragon because it does look like dragon scale and a silver dragon at that. Um, just such a cool plant. This one has some flowers on it. It's always interesting to see the alocasia flowering. It comes in a beautiful, beautiful planter that matches everything. I mean, for $20 or 18 something if you got it from Walmart, such a good deal. I mean, there's so much growth happening on this plant. As far as care, they're very easy care. Just wait until the soil dries out and then give them a nice good drink. Another way if you're not sure if it's thirsty is if the leaves kind of start to curl in, then that means it's pretty, it's starting to get thirsty. If the leaves are completely like flat, then that's a sign that it's completely hydrated. So this one is just starting. <coughs> Excuse me, I have to take my allergy medicine. But um, yes, these leaves are beginning to curl, which, let me see, yeah. It's pretty dry, the soil's pretty dry. It could probably use a drink. So if you have any questions about these or any suggestions, leave them in the comments. And as always, let me know which plant you guys would have picked out because I'm always curious to know. Now this plant was very exciting and it is the spineless cactus from Walmart. I was so excited to see this because the last time I saw it was when it was on display at the 2022 Tropical Plant International Expo where a lot of the growers share exciting new plants coming on the market and this was one of them and I was told that they would start being in big box shops. It's really cool, you know, it's a cactus, but it's a spineless cactus, so it's not dangerous. So you can have the beauty and ease and low maintenance uh, advantages of a cactus, but not have to deal with the spines if you have pets and kids and all of that. It makes a fantastic gift. So uh, this one, I think it was, okay, this one was $20, and I think it was on sale at Walmart. I'm not sure on that though. But, you know, it's this would make a great gift. It needs nothing. It even has where you can write on here to and from, which is really cool. They call it a cuddly cactus, and it has some care tips on there. I mean, such a fabulous, fabulous find. I love cacti. You guys know that I'm obsessed with them. In addition to the beautiful foliage, tropical plants, Cacti just has a special place in my heart. So I actually surprised myself with this next one. It's not like my usual type of plant I get. And it's this really cool orchid cactus. I just love it. And I've seen them, you know, at different specialty nurseries and occasionally I see them at big box shops and I always admire them, but I usually end up going with a different plant for some reason. And today I just, couldn't say no. I kept going back to it, kept going back to it, and I thought, Ashley, just do it. And you know that this is the plant that I just keep gravitating towards because I like to admire my plants after I purchase them, and I'm really happy with this one. It is so incredibly cool. I've never owned a, a variety of orchid cactus, so if you do have experience with care tips, please leave them in the comments below for me. This one is Epiphyllum hookeri originally from Central America, and it says it enjoys high light, um, water when soil is dry, it's slow growth, fertilize every six months, so very easy care. And it doesn't have any spikes or prickles or anything like that, um, which is really neat. And I love how the, um, I don't know what you'd call them, but I love how the leaves, for lack of a better word, is, really kind of curly and it has this interesting shape to the leaves. It feels very, very succulenty, like a mix between a succulent and a cactus. It's really, really cool. This is a 
huge full planter, $15. I mean, that was such a steal. I love that it's in a hanging basket because these will like kind of train to trail down, which I'd love for this one to do. I'll hang it in one of my windows because those get a lot of light. Again, let me know your care tips. Um, I did get one more thing and it was from Walmart. So I'll probably go back and grab a couple more things from there, specifically plant stands. Um, but I got this one, I just thought it was great. And it's this planter, it's a six inch planter. It was $10 and it says, I will survive on it. And it has a little saucer. I don't know, I just <laughs> related to this little planter. And I do occasionally like to name my plants, so I think whatever plant I choose to go in here, maybe you guys have suggestions. I think I'll call it Gloria after Gloria Gaynor because she was the one who originally sang the song, I Will Survive. I will survive as long as I know how to love her, I'll be alive. All right, I'll spare you <laughs> my horrible singing. Now don't forget about the big giveaway that I'm going to be doing. Um, in celebration of Earth Month with my partnership with Climeworks where I'm in a contest uh, competing against other content creators to see whose community can remove the most carbon dioxide in celebration of Earth Month. If you want to be part of my team, which would be amazing, subscribe to Climeworks. They have all sorts of great options for plans and lots of information on their website if you have any questions and I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have as well. If you have and subscribed make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more episodes in your newsfeed and we have a fabulous community on Instagram that I would love for you to be part of all right guys I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day you will definitely be seeing me soon bye